This video covers the basic steps required to create a script and then play back the script using the Sample Insurance web application running in Windows Internet Explorer. To create a script choose File, New, the New Asset dialog box opens. Select .NET Script from the Asset Types list and then type a name for the script in the Asset Name text box, for example AutoQuote. To record DOM functions to make your test faster and more reliable, perform the following steps. Click Options. Expand Record in the Options menu tree, the Record Options display in the right side panel. Click X Browser. From the Record Native User Input list box, select No. Click OK. Check the Begin Recording checkbox to start recording immediately. Click OK to save the script as an asset and begin recording. The Select Application dialog box opens. Select the Insurance Web application from the list and click OK. Silk Test Workbench minimizes and the recording dialog box opens. We'll now perform the steps to complete an auto quote in the sample web application. Stop recording by pressing Alt and F10 or clicking Stop recording in the recording dialog box or clicking the Silk Test Workbench taskbar icon and the recording complete dialog box opens. Click Go to .NET Script. The script displays in the code window then click Save. Your script may not exactly match the example because different users interact with applications differently. For example, when filling out a form, some users click from field to field and others use the tab key. Once you've recorded and saved your script, you can play it back to verify that the script works. Perform one of the following steps. Choose Actions Playback or click Playback on the toolbar. The Playback dialog box opens and this dialog box lets you determine how the result is saved. In the Result Description text box, type initial test results for the recorded test, click OK. Each result is identified with a unique test run number. Silk Test Workbench minimizes and the script plays back. During playback, the actions you performed while recording the script are played back on the screen against the sample application. When playback completes successfully, the Playback Complete dialog box opens. Click Go to Result. The Result window opens. 